Rated E for everyone. Unlike other racing games where the goal of the game is just to go as fast as possible and try to earn all of your winnings through purse winnings, Baja has multiple systems that actually have some strategic elements in there of how you earn money. As you start out as a rookie, you buy your vehicle, you paint it up, you take it out there in the course, but your only means of actually earning money is through purse winnings. As you start to gain notoriety and experience, sponsors will start to come to you and offer to sponsor your ride. As they do, stickers and whatnot will start showing up on your vehicle. Fabtech may sponsor you for shocks and be a good response to you for tires and stuff like that. Earning the sponsorship dollars is contingent upon you having that body panel on the truck when you cross the finish line. It does BF Goodrich no good if the logo bearing their name is lying in the middle of the desert somewhere. It's up to you to kind of protect your truck and keep the body panels on the truck all the way through the finish line in order to get paid for that sponsorship. Do I go flat out and ignore the fact that I might break some more body panels just to get first place? Or do I race a little bit more conservatively, take a second and a third, but then cross the line with all my panels intact? So as you move through the career, your purse winnings become decreasingly less important and your contingency sponsorship becomes increasingly more important. We like to think of ourselves as people who make a thinking man's racing game. It's not just go flat out and hope for the best.